some water slides are just plain fun, others a healthy mix of fun and terror. These water slides, however, forgot about the fun and focused entirely on the terror, sprinkling some bodily harm for good measure. These water slides have been deemed so dangerous that no one's actually allowed to use them anymore. Starting off with a water slide notorious for injuring people to another water slide also notorious for injuring people, here are the top 10 most insane banned water slides you can't go on anymore. Number 10. The Cannonball Drop, Action Park, New Jersey. There's nothing in the world like Action Park. Action Park. If you haven't heard of it, you probably haven't seen some of our previous videos, honestly. This is one of the most notorious water parks in the world. It was so notorious that it was shut down in 1996 after a total of six fatalities and so many injuries that no one seems able to actually count them. It didn't stay closed, though. It was reopened back in 2010, and the new owners promised that safety would be their top priority. Well, apparently they lied. One of the more notorious action park rides is one that not only closed down relatively recently, it was also called Cannonball Falls, and it featured a 10-foot drop into a mountain pool. It was the most dangerous water slide in the state of New Jersey, with six injuries during the 2015 season alone. Still, that's pretty tame compared to the overall number of Action Park injuries that season, which was about 27. And mind you, that's still pretty tame compared to the number of injuries in 2012, which was 70. According to NJ.com, Cannonball Falls was permanently closed a few weeks before the end of 2015, so that's something anyway, and also pretty indicative of what we have to expect next. Number 9. The Aqua Scoot, Action Park, New Jersey. Are you really surprised at this point? By this time, you should be getting an idea on just how crazy Action Park really was. And one reason why this water park has its notorious reputation is this insane water slide. Not because it's the highest or the fastest, it's just because of stupid design. Someone at Action Park once had the bright idea to make a slide out of warehouse rollers because a fast stream of water just wouldn't cut it. Riders then went down the aqua scoot on a plastic sled and the idea was that you'd pick up a ton of speed and then skip across the water at the bottom like a flat stone. The problem was if you weren't sitting on the sled at exactly the right angle, you could get flung off of it. If that wasn't enough, the pool was so shallow it was only about two feet deep according to some reports, and you wouldn't even have the benefit of a soft landing. Oh, and mind you, that is if you made it as far as the water. Number 8. The Aquasphere, PARC, Australia. There's nothing like a family raft ride. They're full of great times, great memories, and I'm sure that'll keep you warm with the family togetherness in the hospital emergency rooms. Yes, only at the Peninsula Aquatic Recreation Center in Frankston, Australia, parents can bond while watching their children receive treatment for multiple water slide related injuries. How oh, truly the memories. Park has a pair of notorious slides, but it's Aquasphere that has been linked to a curiously high number of accidents. On one occasion, two adults hit their heads inside the slide's tunnel and suffered head trauma. Park officials then had to shut the slide down for 10 months, but just days after the reopening, there was yet another accident. This time, a woman experienced severe back pain after riding the Aquasphere. And on yet another occasion, a boy fell off the tube inside the ride and was battered around the inside of the ride before he was ejected. According to witnesses, the boy lost consciousness for nearly 15 minutes. So, yeah, probably don't go on that. Number 7. Black Hole Water Slide, Wet n Wild Water Park, Orlando. The Wet n Wild Water Park in Orlando is no longer open to the public, and that means its most notorious water slide is no more as well, more than likely for the better. Many of the park's dilemmas revolved around a ride called the Black Hole, which the Orlando Business Journal described as a twisting ride where guests shoot down a dark tube on a two-person float. Just to prove how bad this is, the Black Hole injured one man in 1994 so badly that he sought and won a $1.73 million judgment against the amusement park back in 2000. The man claimed he was struck by something in the dark, and when he arrived at the bottom of the slide, he couldn't move his legs. Doctors had to insert a titanium plate into his neck just to keep him going. That was probably the black hole's worst injury, but there were others as well. Tubes sometimes flipped, people fell off, tubes were hit by other tubes, and all this happened mostly in the dark, which must have made it extra super sucky. So goodbye, wet and wild and black hole. We ain't gonna miss you in the slightest. Number 6. Shoot the Rapids, Cedar Point, Ohio. 
Cedar Point Water Park in Sandusky, Ohio refers to itself as the best amusement park in the world, all the while hoping that you won't remember the accident that happened back in 2013. But we remember. In July of 2013, guests were on board the river rafting simulation ride Shoot the Rapids when something went horribly, horribly wrong, as you'd expect on this list. The boat the people were sitting in suddenly rolled backward 187 feet down the lift track, hit the edge of a concrete flume, hit yet another boat, and then flipped over. Riders were trapped upside down in the water, and it was probably only the quick action of the park employees and a few bystanders that kept the incident from turning tragic. After a thorough investigation, it was found out that the accident happened because two of the ride's safety features failed. One that was designed to keep the boats from sliding backward, and the other that was supposed to keep the boats on track. The ride wasn't officially shut down until 2016, and most Cedar Point fans weren't especially sad to see it go. Number 5. Steamer Slide Calypso Water Park, Canada Aside from having a gross name, the Steamer Slide in Calypso Park, Canada is considered one of the most dangerous water slides in the world. So dangerous, in fact, that back in 2015, Calypso Water Park was ordered by Ontario authorities to pay half a million dollars in fines and damages. Apparently, the ride caused serious neck and back injuries to its riders, and worse, they were never reported. Reports of injuries date back as early as 2011, though, as former riders wrote reviews to air their grievances. One former rider wrote on TripAdvisor that the tube she and her husband were riding on suddenly flipped due to a strong rush of water, resulting in her breaking her collarbone and her husband suffering a concussion. And just how did the park compensate for their injuries? Well, with the greatest compensation of all! Free passes to the water park! Which expired two months after the incident occurred, mind you. When investigated, it was found out that the slide had developed a buckle in one area, causing the tubes to flip over. It was banned soon thereafter, and personally, I hope the owners were tarred and feathered. Number 4. Sahara Sidewinders Kalahari Resort, Ohio Like all other dangerous water slides on this list, the Sahara Sidewinders in Kalahari Resort, Ohio are now closed to the public and will never, ever be ridden again. Again, this is due to numerous injuries caused by the water slide. As described on their website, the Sahara Sidewinder is a slide that will let riders experience high speeds and high thrills as a tube launches down dark tunnels, gathering speed before rocketing into a tight curve around massive saucer openings. Sounds pretty fun, am I right? Well, not if you ask the numerous people that have been injured by this thing. Back in 2012, a family sued Kalahari Resorts for allegedly injuring a young boy while riding the Sahara Sidewinder. Although the report did not mention what kind of injuries the boy did suffer, it did mention that management was aware of the risks due to prior reported injuries on the slide and did nothing to improve the safety of the slides. Due to the numerous lawsuits filed against them, management just decided to shut the slides down. Good idea for them to quit while they're ahead, in my opinion. Number 3. The Rut, Kansas City Water Park. It really is awful when anyone gets injured or killed while out doing something that's supposed to be fun but the absolutely horrific way that this child died makes it hard to even think about, let alone even put down in words. As such, the Schlitterbahn Water Park in Kansas City wanted to be known as having the world's tallest water slide, so they built a 170-foot tall atrocity and named it the Verrucht, which means crazy in German. Everything went fine for a while until a 10-year-old boy named Caleb Schwab got on the ride and was decapitated after his raft caught air and his head struck a pole. Caleb's family did get a $20 million settlement from the park and some of the companies involved in its design, but it's pretty hard to put a price on the loss of a child, particularly in such a horrific way. Fortunately though, Verrucht was permanently shut down and dismantled in 2018 after two years of looming over the park as a horrible monument to one of the worst tragedies in water park history. Now it's time for the day's best pick. So, if you find a photo or video online and you want to know more about it, send it over to us and we'll find out more about it for you. Who knows, you might even use it in a future video. With that said though, number two. High up in the clouds. The photo that you're seeing right now looks too good, or rather too terrifying to be true. Could you just imagine yourself about to go down a water slide that towers over skyscrapers that are looming in the distance? I personally couldn't, and I wouldn't. So, I think it's safe to say that this is yet another creation of some digital artist with a twisted imagination. But it does remind me of a banned water slide that really did justice to its name. In Seno, the crown jewel of Brazil's giant water park, Beach Park, is the tallest freestanding body slide in the world. 
daring riders free fall from the top, meaning that for a few precious seconds your body isn't even touching the slide, all the way to the bottom of the steep drop at speeds of up to 65 miles an hour. Built in 1989, the 135-foot-high ride held the Guinness record for the world's tallest water slide up until 1999, when it was beat out by the 193-foot Kilimanjaro in Rio de Janeiro. Still, Insano does justice to its name by being the tallest freestanding body slide and is certainly one of the most radical rides of the planet. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Cannonball Loop, Action Park, New Jersey. And now to complete the trilogy of action parks and sane water slides, we give you the granddaddy of them all. A water slide so infamous for being dangerous that riders had to be hosed down with water to improve their chances for making it to the end. A slide so terrifying that even the most daring adventurer wouldn't even think of trying it. A ride that caused so many injuries that it had to close down only after a single season. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Cannonball Loop. It was long and black and ended with a loop at the end that looked so improbable you had to wonder if it ran laws of physics unknown to us here on Earth. It was open in the summer of 1985, but it only lasted for around a month before it was shut down by the New Jersey Carnival Amusement Ride Safety Board because all those other crazy action park rides were tame compared to this one. Now in Action Park's defense, it was Action Park employees who tried the slide out, and all of them were given a hundred bucks in exchange for probable injury. In Action Park's defense, they did set dummies down the thing first. Uh, just ignore the fact that some of them came out missing body parts, though. And that's our video for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you brave enough to try any of these slides? Let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.